Ladies and gentlemen, the following fight is a bantamweight showcase bout. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striking specialist and stands five feet nine inches tall. He weighed in officially at 135 and one half pounds and owns a record of nine wins and five losses. Fighting out of London, England, the Black Panther, Dawn Woody. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is an MMA specialist and stands five feet five inches tall. He weighed in officially at 135 pounds and holds a pro MMA record of seven victories, three defeats and one draw. Representing Georgia and fighting out of Dublin Island, Bundo Kikadze. Rich Mitchell. Judge. Mondo Kikadze Judge. in the yellow trunks. Judge. Dom Wooding Judge. in the gray. Kai, you ready? You ready? Three five minute rounds in a bantamweight showcase. Touch of the gloves. Southpaw stance for Wooding. Fast starter. Five of his nine knockouts have come inside the first round as he goes to the low kick. As you said, Sean, all nine of his wins are by knockout. When Dominic Wooding fights, you drop what you're doing, you tune in. His last three wins are by head kicks and flying knees. And those are just his last three. You can see how sharp he is with his in and out movement. Kikadze's thrown a few times now and fallen short. Look at that. So quick. This is why he's going to have to use the fence to trap Wooding. Otherwise, he won't get his hands on him. It's the combination of the speed and the footwork of Dominic Wooding. There's very few fighters that have more speed and better footwork. Oh. Oh, oh man. Nasty left high kick after a straight left hand. Wooding starting to figure it out. Another high kick glances off the guard of Bondo, who now tries to close this distance. And this is what he needs. Pushing Dom Wooding against the barrier. Good job nice by work by Wooding. Good footwork to get out. And then ducks away from the overhand right on the exit. That Good speed is so unnerving for his opponents as well. Nice kick to the body there by Wooding. Good job by Kikatsu. Oh, here, there's the takedown. This is what he wants to do. Hard to be fast when you're on your behind, and that is what... Bondo Kikadze has done to earn himself a spot here on top of Dom Wooding. Yeah, inside Kikadze control. He's got exactly oh. the weapons to neutralize. Looking for, the, looking for the Americana from a scarf hold position here. Very unusual submission for mixed martial arts. It could be really nasty if he's able to push Wooding's arm down under his own right leg. Unusual, but a lot of pressure on the shoulder. Bondo, take your thumb out of the glove. There, go. Rich Mitchell doesn't like the glove go. holding being part of that control. Wooding's got to be very careful here. Oh, he's that's exactly. If Bondo Kikadze can extend his hips here and keep that right arm trapped for Wooding, that's a nasty submission. Oh, man. Oh. Great flexibility from Dom Wooding surviving this for now. The fence is helping Dominic Wooding right now. Dom's going to try and bridge off the fence here, but he's getting his arm straight, which is what Bono Kikante doesn't want. He needs to keep a bend in the arm. Now he's using his other leg. Very interesting. If Dom can get his head free, he might be able to take the back. Wooding did a good, good job. job. Wooding, nice. Got his thumb in the right position to avoid the straight arm bar. But Bondo Kikadze has control of Dom Wooding and is pounding away with his left hand. And this is another way to finish when you're in this position. If he doesn't tap on the arm, on the arm lock, you can finish with strikes. And now he's going to try and crank the neck. Ah, look at the arm of Dominic Wooding. Wow. <laughs> Dominic Wooding's he's... arm might be double jointed. It is now. <laughs> This looks a bit more promising for Dom. Now he's got some space. He's trying to get to his knees. That arm is still in danger, though. Ooh, look at the, that's bending the wrong way. He's staying very calm, though. And he does a good job of 
getting it out of the way when he's able to, but still, that arm is taking some damage here. A minute 12 for Bondo Kikadze to keep working on this arm. Dom Wooding. He's gonna pop his head out here. Kikadze incredibly strong though. And these short shots are gonna be really annoying for Dom, but he's not gonna give up because of these. The arm is still the danger. If he can defend himself though, and Kikadze keeps going. Well, look, as long as Dominic Wooden keeps offering that hand as defense, keeps trying to improve his position, Rich Mitchell won't stop this fight on strikes that are so short. He's got to get that arm out. He's got to get himself back to the feet. Bondo Kikadze not allowing it. 30 more seconds here for Dom Wooden to survive. I can't even begin to imagine how strong Kikadze is in this position. I bet he's been training this for years and years, this position. And now, if Dom Woody can survive these final 10 seconds, you have to ask yourself how useful that right arm is going to be for him as this fight progresses. Kikadze will finish on top. Dom Wooding lives to fight another round. That shoulder lock to start and then that straight arm bar, those can be very scary submissions. You got to think about the future of your career, and he, hand he handled it. Very well. Grabbed his arm, your head slid down and went in his glove. In his glove. In the yellow. Do not do that being again. Told by Next Rich time Mitchell, I will take do your position away. Do you understand? Do you understand? Fingers inside the glove there. of Dom Woody in those controlled positions. Back over there. Back over there. I'm curious, to, curious to see how Dominic Woody is going to move mouthpiece. in the in the Lovely. second round because he used ready. a lot of energy Let's in that go. first round to get out of that position, but couldn't. He's also going to be aware how difficult that position is to get out of if he gets stuck in it again. Might make him a little more tentative. That was a beautiful straight left, though. Right on the forehead of Bondo Kakadze, backed him up. We'll have to keep an eye on that, uh, that right hand and see if he throws it, because that was the one that was in danger for half of that round. Leah McCord, who's part of our broadcast team tonight, she was listening in on the corner of Dom Wooding. Leah, what'd you hear? In the first round, they said they have to keep it on their feet. They want him to keep his strikes long, but they want to not not no single shots. He's thrown too many single shots, which allows him to enter in. But they said they have to go out, they have to put it on him and try and knock him out in this round. Right now, Bondo Kakadze back on top of Dominic Wooding after the takedown here. Wooding's got both butterfly in, but. He needs to use those and get his, gets his, get his back up, back against the fence. Move away from here, because if Kikadze stays on top of you, it's only a matter of time before he's going to pass to side control and back to that scar fold, I think. Body, body, head by Kikadze. And he, he has not been sitting still for those three years he's been out. He's been working hard, improving on his game. And they're working these positions every day of the week at GB Top Team. You've got Ash Grimshaw in the corner, Mark Jacasey, you've got Brad Pickett as well, working on these guys, developing their wrestling. So you, you can see how strong Kakadze is in this position. I don't see people hold Don Wooding down very easily like this ever. Kakadze has passed now to side control. Flattens out Don Wooding again. Time out from Rich Time Mitchell out. and a stand up. Can really see what happened there. You guys see it? Stay over here. Dummy, you're good. Stay there. You throw two elbows. Come. This might be a point deduction. One point. I think he was holding the One glove point. again. He was putting his One fingers point. in the gloves of Dom Whitting to uh, go to elbows. that arm lock again. Okay, so Rich Mitchell you doesn't like position. the gamesmanship. Let's go. Holding on to those gloves, which is a rules violation in mixed martial arts. Nice job. I really get out of the way. It's important to remember in positions like this, most of the time that, that position has been developed in judo or sambo, which means they're going to have flying knees, which means they're going to have sleeves that they would use to control. There's a familiarity there with controlling a wrist, which is not just controlling the arm. 
Great work again by Bondo. Just turned the corner on this takedown, and again, right into side control, gathering the legs of Dom Wooding and flattening him out. Yeah, he does a really good job getting a hold of the legs, and then he changes the angle to take Dom Wooding down. A lot of people are looking forward to the debut of Dom Wooding, but Kikaze is shutting him down. Unbelievable performance so far from Bando Kikaze. Shows incredible awareness of the, the you know skills matchup, the style matchup, and knowing where his greatest advantages are. Obviously, he felt like his wrestling was going to be something he could use, and so far he's done it successfully. Now, what's worth noting here is this leg there, wrap that we've got. That's controlling the lower body of Bondo Kakadze a little bit. Now, Kakadze's doing a really good job of controlling this, this underhook here. The battle is that Dom needs to get Dom needs to get these underhooks on both sides. He needs to get his arms free so he can start building up. This leg on the bottom here, the one that's controlling the outside leg of Kakadze, is only controlling him so far. He has to use it to start building up to his feet. You can only use that leg when you get on your hip and then get your, your foot to your back. Then you can from Kikadze off of you and then you can work back to your feet, but Dom Wooding is not trying to get on her hips. He's not trying to get to his knees. Final 20 seconds of this second round. Bando Kikadze with hammer fists, pressure, smothering performance here against Dom Wooding so far. 122 ground strikes in two rounds. Dom's looking for straight in here. Well, there's some disparity between the fight clock. I think we're well past five minutes here, guys. We need to hear a bell from this timekeeper. There's the bell. But one of our clocks got a little bit off kilter. Bono Kankadze in the yellow, Don Woodig in the gray, Sean O'Connell, Stefan Struve, Dan Hardy, cage side. Liam McCourt also in the building offering insights from the corner. A little slip there from Bondo. I'm trying to pick his shots here. Fully expecting the takedown attempt. Bondo runs into the fence. He does such a good job with those overhands. And then going to the legs of Wooden, controlling him. There's another beautiful job by Kikadze now. Little miniature slam there from Bando Kikadze. And again, right into side control, which makes for a lot of hard work for Dom Wooding just to get back to a neutral position. And I'd like to see more urgency from Wooding in getting back to his knees. Maybe go to his left now. Roll to your knees, let him take your back. Oh. Try to get back to your feet. Back to the scarfold. Does Wooding have the energy to defend this? for a full round again. It's a long time for Bondo to work in this position. And now Dom doesn't have the fence behind him either where he can utilize that to walk up and bridge over. It's a nightmare to defend this when someone's so good at this position as Kikadze is. And he's, he's stopping the breathing of Wooden too, because he's li lying on a diaphragm. So you can't really breathe in. So you're, you're incredibly tired. You want to have all that oxygen. But Kikadze is pressing down and going for your head and your arm. You have to defend. And there's really no way to make it easier for Wooden in this position. And you can see the breathing of Don Wooden as well. You can see he's, he's struggling here, breathing a lot, stuck in a bad position. Very strong individual on top of him. And Kikadze can pull himself down, can pull his weight down on the chest of Wooden. So it feels like there's a, a couple hundred pounds on your chest. Kikadze content to just squeeze and pound away. He's not trying to isolate that right arm of Don Wooding at the moment, which is what we saw him do in round number one. Wooden obviously mindful of it this time around. He goes back to it. He's trying to 
extended again. Trying to get to his man. Nice job out the back door by Wooding. Kante sprinting after him, but Wooding was able to stay up. There's a high kick attempt. He's got two minutes for the knockout. Takedown attempt. Once again, Kikadze, Kikadze pressing Dom Wooding against the barrier. He's got his hands locked. He's going to try and lift them up again. To finish the takedown, he's going for a high crotch here. I think Kikadze is going to try and lift him again in a second. Try and use this high crotch. There, there it is. is. Good balance by Wooden. Nice work. Planting that right foot. Dom Wooding stays on the feet for now. 90 seconds left in this fight. Wooding does a good job defending, but he needs to move away from this position. He needs to create distance. He wants to go back to the strike and to, to have an opportunity to finish this fight. He's lost all the rounds. He's losing this round. Beautiful. Excellent trip with the left leg there. Bondo just reaps that foot out from under Dom Wooding and lands on top again. A lot of urgency coming from the corner of Dom Wooding, as you can imagine. Should let go of the leg. He's holding on to that leg again, as you explained earlier in the fight, Dan, but he needs to pull that leg underneath of Bondo, try to get back to his knees, but it's easier said than done, of course, with someone who's so incredibly strong on top of you. Bondo knows where he's at in this fight. He's gonna try and ride out the round on top. Would like to see him maybe posture up a little bit, put some heat on these strikes. 20 seconds Pot to go. Potentially earn himself a finish at the very end. Some powerful short range punches from Bondo right in front of the commentary position here. But we saw it in the last fight with Connor Hughes. Short little punches to the ribs, ended up winning him that one. Final 10 seconds. Kikadze stands up. There's the final bell. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges scored this about 26 29. 27 29, 27 29, all for your winner by unanimous decision. Bondo Kikadze!